Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We'll continue. We'll finish this question. As I said, 8.1, there is nothing new. Just kind of yani, review, combining all the things done, done before. So let us see what will happen. Okay. So what I did about the law, the exam questions, I look at the second exam and I see the questions which can be done uh, with the techniques which we did in chapter five. Okay. Uh, this one long division. So I have x to the power four. The degree here is more. So I have for sure I need the long division. Should we do something similar? Let me do it. X squared plus four. That will be x. X cubed plus four x. Plus minus minus. That will be minus four x plus four. So this integral. The long division doing what? Just I'm rewriting the function. This function, the idea of the of the um, the long division, or let me say the long division, give me what? X cubed plus four over x squared plus four. I can rewrite it as x minus four x plus four. So let me say plus. 4 minus 4x over the terminator. If you check this, it will be x cubed plus 4x minus 4x plus 4, which is correct. So this is what the long division is doing. Just rewriting this function, this expression or this function in another way. Now, the other way, I can find the integration. That's the idea. So I have x plus 4 minus 4x four over x squared plus 4 dx. OK, the first one, or before that, let me do one thing. I have 4 over x squared plus 4 minus 4x four over x squared plus 4. This comes plus 4. I have all of this now. This one easy. This one tan inverse. This one substitution. Okay. So that give me what? X square over two. This one. 4 a is half half and inverse x over 2 what about this one let me do it here 4 x over x squared plus 4 dx so i let u equal x squared plus 4 du will be 2 x dx so that give me 2 outside and i have 2 x dx over x squared plus 4 that give me two len of this. Don't forget plus c. So this is plus or minus. There is a minus sign. Minus two len x squared plus four. And I want all of this from zero to two. Okay. That give me what? Two squared over two. Two. Tan, tan inverse of one, which is by over four, I have plus two. Four times half is two. Tan inverse of by over four, tan inverse of one, which is by over four, times by over four. Minus two, then eight. Minus. This is zero, zero. Minus two, lin four. Okay. Yeah, not not then two minus minus zero minus two, lin four. Okay. That give me what? 
plus y over 2. Okay. And they have here what? Minus 2 lin 8 plus 2 lin 4. If I took this one common factor, I have 4 plus y over 2. To have them the same way, huh? the same uh, expression. Okay. And this I took minus 2 common factor. I have lin 8 minus lin 4. So it will be 4 plus y over 2 minus 2 lin 8 over 4, which is lin 2. So that will be 4 plus y over 2 minus 2 lin 2. You need to be careful in the calculation, which is this one. The x over this. What I will do, just complete the square. Make in, in, in terms of that. That give me dx is x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus 1. So to make it a complete square, that will be minus 1 to 0 dx x plus 1 squared plus 1. Now I can let, yeah, easy one, u equal x plus 1, the u will be dx. So that give me what? 0 to 1 du over u squared plus 1 which is tan inverse of u from 0 to 1. Tan inverse of 1, by over 4 minus 0, which is by over 4. The x over 1 minus sine x. If you note, if you notice when he talk about uh, this idea, I put this example. So we can multiply by and instead of it is one over one plus sine, it's one over one minus sine, which is the same idea. So what I will do first, I multiply this by one plus sine over one plus sine, which means I'm multiplying by one, which is has, which is okay. So I have one plus sine x dx over 1 minus sine squared, which is cosine squared. So that will give me what? Secant squared, which I know how to do it, plus sine over cosine squared dx. That give me, what is the integral of secant squared? That is tan squared, tan x. That is tan x from 0 to pi over 3. I need this integral. Let me do it. Integral of sine x over cosine square x dx. If you notice, this is sine x over cosine x times 1 over cosine x dx, which is that will be tan x secant x dx. And what is this? This is secant C. If you go back to the formulas, um, where is it? Yeah, integral of secant tan is secant. Okay, yeah, it's kind of a formula. That would be secant. So plus secant x. The same thing from zero to pi over three. So that give me what? Tan pi over three is what? Tan sixty. So it will be sine sixty. It will be screw three over three. Oh, uh -huh. sine pi over three is the square root of three. No, it will be a square root three over two. This is sine, and this is cosine. Yes, plus secant pi over three. Uh, cosine by over 3 is half. Um, okay, this is minus 0. Huh? And 0 is 0. Alas, we are done with this. Now plus. Secant by over 3 is 2. The spherical of half, which is 2. Minus secant 0, which is 1. So I have what? Square root of 3 plus 1, which is this one. Yeah, be careful with the calculation. Yeah, this one, I think we did something similar. 
which is this one. Okay, let us see what will happen. So I need cosine four theta. It means I need to start with cosine square eight theta. To reach this, or I can open this right away. Cosine four theta will be what? Will be uh, I have many formulas. It will be one minus two sine square two theta. Yes, this is what I need. Because one minus one will be cancelled, so I have two square root. Okay, so this is will be integral four minus by over four to zero. One cancelled one minus square root one minus one plus two sine square two theta. This is cancelled, so I have a square root of two. Don't forget, I need the absolute value. Sine to theta. D theta. Now between minus pi over four and zero, two theta. If theta between minus pi over four and zero, so sine so two theta is between what? Minus pi over two and zero, which is fourth quadrant. For sine is negative, so I need a minus sine outside, or I leave it. Since that will help me with the integral. That will be minus sine to say that that will be the absolute value. That give me what? Square root of two over two cosine two theta from minus by over four to zero. That will be square root of two over two times what? Yeah, times cosine, that will be one. Cosine pi over two or minus pi over two, it will be zero. So I have square root two over two. Or if you rationalize it, that give me two over two root two, which is one over root two, which is this one. It's another way to write it. The secret to the more four. I think this is the same problem, is it? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, it is the same. I don't know why. Why there's repetition. So the answer is one over three. No need to waste time. One over one minus cosine. The same thing. Like what we did with the sine. Now we're doing it with the cosine. So what I will do. I multiply by one plus cosine x over one plus cosine x dx. That give me what integral one plus cosine x over sine squared x dx. That will be cosecant square plus cosine over sine. That will be cotan cosecant x dx. That give me minus cotan and that give me minus cosecant. So this is that. x over 1 plus e to the power x. I think we did it before. And there is a petition of the same question. Yeah, we did it here, and we have this x minus ln ax plus one. Is it definite now? Yes, it's definite. Let me do it. Yeah, uh, what is the trick? I rewrite this. I multiply by e minus x. That will be in the numerator and the denominator. So you have e minus x plus one. So this integral, zero to one dx over 1 plus e to the power x will be the same, 0 to 1. I multiply by e is minus x and numerator and denominator of this one. Now I let you, now I let you equal 1 plus e is minus x, du will be minus e is minus x dx. I need minus, I need minus here. So that will be minus. If x is zero, that will be two. 
matrix is one that will be yeah if x is zero u is two if x is one if x is one that will be one plus one over e one plus e is minus one which is one over e okay and what i have here i have du over u that's it so i have len of u Then of u from 2 to 1 plus a. Don't forget the minus. There is a minus 9 on its side. Okay, so that will be minus len 1 plus a minus len 2. Yeah. That gave me 1 over, no, it's not 1 over a, 1 over 1 over a, huh? That is one over e. Yeah, it's one one over e, not not uh, one plus e. One plus one over e. That will give me ln two minus ln. I simplify this a plus one over e. That will be ln two minus ln a plus one minus ln e. So this is will be one. Uh, lin a is one minus minus that will be one plus lin two minus lin a plus one which is this one yeah the average value of the function okay so we'll do the formula for the average value f average one over pi over four minus zero integral from zero to pi over four of this function Now, how to find the integral of this? I need the same trick of cosine 2 theta. Cosine 2 theta is 1 minus 2 sine square theta. So, sine square theta will be half minus half cosine 2 theta. I need what? Sine square 4x. That will be half minus half cosine double this, which is 8x. I just rewrite it, that's it. So I have 4 over pi integral from 0 to pi over 4 as is. This one, 2 times this, it will be 1 minus cosine 8x dx. Oops. So that gives me 4 over pi times what x this is 1 over 8 sine 8x from 0 to pi over 4 that gave me 4 over pi i have pi over 4 here sine 2 by 0 plus and 0 0 that's it so i'm having one which is this yeah, this is long division, same degree. So I have 12. Let's write it this way. 12t plus 1. I have 3t plus 1. So I have 4, 12t plus 4. Minus 3. So this one will be 4 minus 3 over 3t plus 1 dt from 0 to 1 that will be 4t minus this is what if this is u this is du so minus len 3t plus 1 from 0 to 1 that will be 4 minus len 4 Zero, then one is zero. That's it. That is it. That's the average value of this. Same thing. F average will be what? One over nine minus three integral 
from three to nine of this is strange integral x square x cube root log x with the base three dx. I need to do this integration. I'll use the let. Let u log x with the base three. What will be du? du will be x x over line 3 dx is it no 1 over x sorry 1 over x line 3 dx that would be du so this is will be my du times line 3 so i need line 3 here and then three here. So F average will be then three over six of what? Three to the power nine, 12 times, okay. I have DU over U to the power one over three, which is two then three, times u integral u to the power minus one over three du from three to nine. Oh by the way, by the way, no, no, no. And this is should be changed. Three give me one, nine give me two. This is from one to two. Now do the integration that will be two and three. Yeah, because I'm using this u. So change three, look three with the base three is one, look down with the base three, three squared, which is two. Times what? What is u plus one? That will be u to the power two over three. So I multiply by three over two. u to the power three over two. u to the power two over three. Two over three. From where to where? From one to two. That give me three then three. Now substitute the two, that will be cube root of four. Cube root of four to square cube root minus one, which is this one. More to go. Mm -hmm. What to do here? Yeah. Okay. This one, one over three x plus three cube root of x squared. Let me rewrite this, 1 to 8, 1 over cube root of x square, whatever, 3, take the 3, 1 over 3 outside, who cares? 1 over 3 outside, that give me what? Uh, cube root of x, multiply this by this, give me x, plus 1. That will do it. Why? Because now if I let u x to the power 1 over 3 plus 1, what will be du? du will be 1 over 3. Okay. x to the power minus 2 over 3. dx. So that I will rewrite it. Now, if x equal one, that will be two, that will be three. I have dx over, uh, I'll do this later, one to eight. Let me write this to be in this format. dx, this is three, x to the power two over three. 
x over 1 over 3 plus 1. So this is u and this is the u. Yes. Now that I change everything now in terms of u, that will be 2 to 3 d u over u, which is len of u on 2 to 3. That will give me len 3 minus n 2, which is this one. Yeah. 12 secant to the power 4. Like what we did with the, with the cosecant. So we write this secant 12 integral secant square, secant square, d theta. And they will write one of these in terms of tan. That will be 1 plus tan square. 1 plus tan square d theta. So this is, will be 12 integral of secant square d theta, which is, you know it, plus secant square theta tan square theta d theta. So if I put tan u, this is du. That's it. So I have u squared and I have u cubed. So that give me 12 tan theta. This is times 12. Everything is tan theta. Okay. Plus 12. I said here. Yeah, if I let u equal tan, then du would be secant squared d theta. So this is du. And I have u squared. So that will be u cubed over 3 plus c. So that give me 12. That give me 12 tan theta plus 4 tan cubed theta plus c. Which is this one. Sine square 5x. We'll do the same trick. I know cosine. Uh, I have to write it right away. Sine square. Sine square. 2 theta is half minus half. Sine square. Theta will be half minus half cosine 2 theta. So sine square 5x will be what? Integral from 0. This is pi over 20. Strange number. Okay. Half minus half cosine 10x dx. That will give me what? 1 over 2 x minus 1 over yeah, 2 over 10. 1 over 20 sine 10x. From 0 to pi over 20. Yeah, that will be pi over 40 minus here i have y over 20 by over 2 that would be minus 1 over 20 then 0 0 gone so i can write it 1 over 40 by minus 2 let's give me the same answer 1 over square root of x plus x square root of x yeah How to do that? If you multiply by square root of x in the numerator and the denominator, would that help? No, that will not help. Let me take dx square root of x remaining is one plus x. Mm -hmm. 
S. This is will be dx over the square root of x, 1 plus square root of x, all square. Now I let u equal the square root of x, du 1 over 2 square root of x dx. So I need 2 there and 2 there. So this integral, let me call it i. So i will be what? 2. I have what? This is du over 1 plus u square, which is 2 tan inverse of u plus c. And what is u? Square root of x plus c. That will be my answer. 1 plus cosine 2x. And let's go sign to x. So I'll see which formula will be good for, for that. I want to get rid of the one. So I have I have cosine to x is two cosine square x minus one, and also one minus two sine square x. Now if I use this one, I'm not getting rid of the one. But if I use this one, I get rid of the one. So I use that one. So it will be from 0 to pi over 6, square root 1 plus 2 cosine square x minus 1. So I get rid of the 1. I can find the integral now. Square root of 2, take it out. From 0 to pi over 6, absolute value of cosine x dx. Cosine is positive. So I have cosine x dx. That give me what? That give me sine x. Don't forget the square root of 2. Square root of 2 times sine x from 0 to pi over 6. That will be square root of 2. Sine pi over 6, sine 30 is half minus 0. So it will be square root 2 over 2, which is this. x over x minus 5. Yeah, you can do the long division or you can do this trick x minus 5 over 5, which is similar to the long division. That will be 1 plus 5 over x minus 5. Dx. What we are doing here, we are getting the same thing as we are doing the wrong division. But this is a, a trick you can use usually. So x plus 5, then x minus 5 plus c. And that will be the answer. 1 over ax plus 1. Uh, we did it before. Yeah. I think we did it before somewhere. Yeah, in the previous video, I think it was there. Yeah, it's this one. So you have x minus len ax plus 1. x minus len ax plus 1. Yeah, it's this one. No need to do it again. Also, this one I think we did before. x squared plus 2x plus 2. So sometimes they, they repeat the questions. Yeah, this one. And I'm getting what? Yeah, I'm not getting it in terms of uh, tan inverse of u. Mm. Let me let me do it. Yeah, I need to write it. Okay, this is easy one. Over x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus 1. That give me integral dx x plus 1 squared plus 1. So I let u equal x plus 1. du will be the same as dx. So i, which is this one, will be integral du over u squared plus 1. And that will be tan inverse of u plus c. And that will be tan inverse x plus 1 plus c. But this is my u. That's it. 1 plus cosine 4x. Similar to this one, but now cosine to x. So I have, I will use cosine for x. It will be 2 cosine squared 2x minus 1. Yeah. If you plug it here, you have from 0 to pi over 4. 
square root 1 plus 2 cosine square 2x minus 1. So this is cancelled, dx. So I have square root of 2 from 0 to pi over 4, absolute value cosine 2x, dx. Always positive because I'm talking about the first quadrant. So this is would be cosine 2x, dx. And that give me what? Square root of 2. This is half sine 2x from 0 to pi over 4. So it will be square root 2 over 2. Sine pi over 2, which is 1. Sine 0 is 0. So it will be square root 2 over 2. And that's the answer. Yeah. I will stop after this one because the remaining is only the questions from the book, which maybe I will do later. One of the I select some questions from the book to be taken. Okay. And try them. Okay. This is the same idea, but now I need to rewrite multiply by e to the power x instead of e is minus x to kill the one there. That will be 2 e to the power x over what? Over 1 plus e to the power x dx. Now I will let u to be 1 plus e to the power x. So du would be e to the power x dx. So this is du. So I have this 2. Oh, I have it definite integral. Definite, yeah, it's not indefinite. Sorry, this is from 0 to 1. This is from 0 to 1. So now when it comes to the this one, I have what? When x equals 0, that is 2. When x equals 1, that is 1 plus a. But I have what? 2 du over u. That will be 2 ln of u of 2 to 1 plus a. That will be 2. That will be 2 ln two times ln 1 plus a minus ln 2, which I can rewrite it to ln 1 plus a over 2. And that is my answer. Okay. We should have a video, or it's okay. Oh, no, it's this video. Now I can move. Yeah, let me try to do some of these questions from the book. Yeah, there is just questions, questions in the book. I think we did a good number of questions. Let me stop. This question in the book, maybe I'll do it later, because I think it's they're, they're not too. So let me stop the recording. Thank you. <laughs>